Hey everybody, it is Friday. If you had a long week, happy Friday, happy weekend to you. Um, today's video, um, can I let y'all in on a little secret? Like, let y'all into like my mind, my reason behind my madness, my whole thinking process. And really, it's not even a secret. It's like, it's, it's, it's to the point now where it kind of like irritates me and it's annoying because I know it, other people know it, but the vast majority of people don't know it. And um, so if you are in any Facebook groups for Avon or if you are even in another direct sales company and you hear the complaint that I'm making posts from our corporate social media center um, and the posts are just disappearing on Facebook. Like I post it, an hour later it's gone. And um, so we've been having this going for probably like two or three weeks, I believe. And I said something about it last week and it was like, pfft, went completely over the head. And the, it's very, 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 very simple. I've said this before, I'll say it again, I'll keep saying it until something changes. Facebook wants you to pay to play. Facebook, when they see these type of business posts, they're like, oh, this isn't on your business page. Guess what? exit right on out. You're not just going to sit up here and boost your business for free and we don't get anything else. This is how Facebook generates its money for its investors and for any of its business activities is by charging for advertising. Now, here's the thing also. If every rep in your company is using the exact same photo and it gets marked as spam, guess what? It's forever marked as spam if you use the exact same photo. So let's just say Sally, Mary, Joe, they all use the same same picture from the social media center. And obviously it annoyed somebody. They reported it as spam. So now when I go in to use that picture, guess what? It's already reported as spam. So Facebook is going to wipe it off the face of this planet. Okay, that's just what happens. So... But here's the thing, it's like all of this, oh my God, what do I do now? My posts aren't showing up. Let me be real with you, 100% real. Those posts don't really generate any real sales. And you don't even have to have a background in psychology to understand consumer behavior. Just put yourself in that position and see what would it take for you to want to buy something that you've seen online. Do you just look at a stock photo and say, hey, I'm just gonna get that right now? Or do you do a little bit more background research? Or do you go to look at the testimony or the product reviews? What do you do that makes you want to actually buy that product? Because I can guarantee you, if you look at somebody's Facebook page and it's just all stock photo after stock photo after stock photo, I can guarantee you, you're not about to purchase everything that they just posted. So what would make you want to actually purchase it? Oh, is it because your friend is sharing something that's, gave, that's given them results? Think about it in terms of weight loss. You had a friend that was overweight. She just dropped 40 pounds and she said, oh my God, I've been using this for six months and I've lost 40 pounds. Would you go and um, check out that product? If you saw somebody post a picture of their new makeup or wearing makeup and you said, oh, okay, that's a great eyeshadow. Would that make you want to purchase it? If you see somebody that had dark spots on all the, on the whole left side of the face and then it just disappeared and they said, I've been using this new sunscreen and it's working out for me, would that make you want to go get it? Or do you look at that stock photo and determine that's what you want to buy because you see a photo with no real results and you don't know anybody that ever had it or uses it? Now, let's just break it down into more of a math type of situation. You don't even have to be like great with numbers to understand this, right? Let's just say about 60% of Avon reps are using the social media center. According to my district sales manager, only about 13% of reps actually make it to President's Club or higher, meaning they sell at least $10,000. If these posts worked that great, wouldn't that mean that everybody was in President's Club? At least the 60% or even closer to the 60%? But that's not even half of it. So stop thinking that the end of the world is coming because your social media posts aren't showing up. Guess what? it really wasn't going to generate that much more than what you already were generating in the first place. And I hate to break it down to you like that, but half the time people make those posts and nobody likes it. Nobody even looks at it because it just looks like a generic 
picture. Now that picture might do better on Instagram because Instagram is more for professional photos. It might do better there, but when it comes to Facebook, it's all about being social with your friends and your family because that's who your your are your um connection. That's your friend and your family. So when you, they see that picture, they're just gonna scroll right by it. Every once in a while, somebody's gonna like it, but they're not gonna go to the website and get that product. But what can make them get that product? This is why I have the Facebook challenge going on. Now, I probably shouldn't share this, but hey, whatever. We talking. We keeping it real. This is me and you. Um, my girl Katie, she just joined two weeks ago. And she, um, she did a quick video. The video wasn't even four minutes long, but it was her morning routine. And in less than an hour, already 80 people have watched the video. She's already got people lined up that want to purchase the products that she talks about. And she also used it. And this was a quick video. But guess what? It shows people that you are real. It shows them that you actually believe in the products enough to buy it. And then when it comes down to it, they get to see it. They Because when we look at a catalog we know sometimes those things don't look anything like what they look like in person and then also if they have any questions they know that they can ask her so this is the reason why I have that challenge going on it's to separate yourself from the other Avon reps if everybody can go to any Avon rep profile and see the exact same picture the exact same phrasing what sets you apart why should they want to purchase from you so I'm sorry I had to get a little rough there, a little, little, but it's just like, it. oh my goodness, it's just like, I keep seeing it like, oh my God, where are my posts? Guess what? The post wasn't really going to do anything for you anyway, okay? Let's just X that out the picture, X that out the equation. This, you need to be a creator of your own content. You need to be you. If this style isn't you, that's okay. If you're more silly, if you're more aggressive, if you're more shy, timid, use that to your advantage because guess what? Your friends are going to buy into you. I've seen some products online where I was like, that product ain't even all that good, but it sells a lot. Why? Because their direct sales reps are getting people to buy into them. Not the product, but them. This is the first thing that I learned in sales is people buy from people that they like. Regardless of your personality, there's going to be somebody that matches your personality. If you're shy, guess what? We already know it's a bunch of other shy people around. I'm shy. You can't tell, but I'm real shy, you know? But it, it just happens. So I hope this explains a little bit why I'm doing the Facebook challenge. And I hope that, you know, if you thought the world was over because social media posts are disappearing, I hope you know that it's still going on, baby. So happy Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye.